owners of the Fitbit Versa have reported that the battery on their device seems to be draining more quickly than normal. However, although many previous Fitbit devices have had this issue, the new Fitbit Versa devices should not. Find out what you can do to boost the battery life of your Fitbit Versa if you're concerned about it. The full charge of your Fitbit Versa takes around 2 hours. Avoid leaving the phone plugged into the charger for too long after it has reached 100%. Overcharging your Fitbit is one of the best ways to prematurely deplete its battery life. Make sure that you only charge in a room with a temperature of around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Batteries may be damaged if they are charged at temperatures below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 degrees Celsius or over 113 degrees Fahrenheit 45 degrees Celsius. You can wake up the Fitbit versus screen by turning your wrist as you would spin your wrist to see the time on a regular watch. Screen wake this function may be turned off if you often rotate your wrist throughout the course of a day. To change the screen wake settings, follow these steps. Swipe down from the top of the screen. Tap the quick settings icon. In the quick settings screen, tap the screen wake icon to adjust the setting. When you set screen wake to auto, the screen turns on each time you turn your wrist. When you set screen wake to manual, press the button to turn on the screen. If you wish to turn off screen wake, we recommend using the manual option. Another way to save battery life on your Fitbit Versa is to reduce the screen brightness. These are the steps to dim the lights. Go to the main screen. Swipe to the right until you see settings. Tap settings. Adjust brightness level by tapping brightness. You want to select dim. If you don't need notifications on a daily basis, you may disable them. This includes turning off reminders to exercise at a set time, as well as phone alerts from apps like phones and alarms which may help to extend the battery life of the Fitbit Versa. You may get four sorts of alerts on your Fitbit Versa. In order to save battery life, we suggest turning off these alerts. It is possible to save battery life by disabling alerts on your phone if you have a Fitbit Versa connected to it. Fitbit Versa only shows notifications from your phone. As a consequence, you'll be able to get notifications from certain apps on your paired phone in addition to your Fitbit Versa. If you don't want alerts sent to your Versa, make sure they are turned off on your phone. To get this to work, you'll need to go into your phone's notification settings and adjust the settings accordingly. In order to prevent alerts from being sent, this function must be turned off. If your phone has a DND setting, you may enable it by going to the settings menu on your phone. Your Versa will not get any notifications while DND is on. If conserving energy is your primary concern, you may want to rethink your use of dynamic clock faces that are full of color and animation. Clock faces with fewer colors and simpler designs might be a good option. No matter what's wrong, restarting your Versa might help. It's important that you reset your Fitbit Versa if you are still having battery issues. On your Fitbit Versa, go to the main or home screen. Swipe left on the screen until you see settings. Tap settings. Scroll down and tap about. Select shutdown. Tap yes to confirm shutdown. If the battery drain on your Fitbit Versa remains despite your efforts to address it in the ways described earlier, you could consider doing a factory reset. Here's how to do a full Fitbit Versa reset. On your Fitbit Versa, swipe left on the screen. Continue swiping to the left until you find settings app. Tap settings, swipe down and tap about. Tap Factory Reset. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.